The BBC. And let's start with the breaking news that the world 100 metre champion Christian Coleman has been given a two year ban dated from the 14th of May 2020 for missing three doping tests. It means the American will miss the rescheduled Tokyo Olympics next year. Now, he's achieved most things in the game, but playing away to Marseille in the Champions League is uncharted territory for Pep Guardiola. His city side are away there this evening. It's a pity the velodrome is not full of the spectators because the people tell me the environment and the, the fans are incredible here. Yeah, I would have loved to, to play against them. It's a pleasure to be here in French. Unfortunately, I don't speak French. I speak in other four or five languages, but not this one. I have time to improve. I'm young enough. That's your commentary game on Five Live Sport. Liverpool take on FC Midtjylland at Anfield. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer says Manchester United's most expensive summer signing, Donny van der Beek, will have a huge part to play this season. The £35 million signing from Ajax has started just one EFL Cup game this campaign with his other six appearances coming off the bench. When players come into a new league, to a new team, it's always going to be a time of that he adapts. Donny is going to play a big, big part this this year and you don't have to start the first three games to be a, be a very important player in a squad. Juventus are awaiting the results of Cristiano Ronaldo's latest Covid test ahead of their match against Barcelona tomorrow. Ronaldo's been self-isolating since testing positive on the 13th of October. In Women's European Championship qualifying, Wales are currently goalless at home to Norway. Uh, they're around five minutes or so uh, into the second half. Scotland trail Finland 1-0. That's just past the hour mark and you can watch those games via the BBC Sport website. Northern Ireland, meanwhile, are playing uh, in Belarus. They currently lead lead uh, 1-0 after 38 minutes. Wales scrum half Rhys Webb could be a doubt for this weekend's Six Nations game against Scotland. He picked up a knock to his knee against France. Wales attack coach Stephen Jones is hopeful though he'll still be involved for the autumn matches. Hopefully not too serious is the answer to uh, uh, Rhys. Um, obviously we're assessing him on a daily basis and uh, you know we, we know Lloyd's an experienced uh, scrum half. Very good balanced game so uh, a uh, very smart rugby player, so we know he can pick up our uh, game plan very very quickly. Yeah, the Lloyd he's talking about, Cardiff Blues scrum half Lloyd Williams, who's been called up as a replacement. Police, meanwhile, say they'll not investigate Barbarians players for breaking COVID-19 rules. England's match against the Barbars at Twickenham last Sunday was called off after 12 of their players were stood down for breaching regulations. Now to the IPL, where the Sunrisers Hyderabad needed a win and they've got it rather impressively as well against the Delhi Capitals, Henry Moran. Yes, a massive win. 88 runs the margin of victory, the second biggest victory for a side in this year's Indian Premier League. It keeps their season alive. They needed to beat Delhi Capitals. They've done just that, all thanks to a huge first inning score. 219 for two they scored. David Warner making 66. Uh, Ridgerman Saha 87. No Johnny Bairstow in the side today. He'll be hoping to get his place back, but with the level of performance from Hyderabad today, it could be difficult for him to do so. Their season remains alive. They've beaten Delhi Capitals by 88 runs. Top stuff, Henry. Thank you. Finally, British number one Dan Evans has beaten Aliash Bedene in the ATP event in Vienna. Bedene retired late in the second set. That's the latest from BBC Sport. BBC Sport.